Okay, so look what I made. I know, you're sitting there going, what the heck is that? It's a drop spindle. I tried to take into account balance and all of that when it came to this. This is two CDs on a paintbrush handle where the paintbrush end fell off. See right there? Yeah, the glue gave way. So we were using it for a basting brush. Mm. Gotta find a new basting brush. Oh, anyway, it's two CDs with rubber gaskets from a faucet repair kit you know how you get those little repair kits and you end up with all of these gaskets that you don't need wrong sizes you'll never use again well i found a use for them the only thing that i did not take into account is the hook it's not in the center and I'm pretty sure that's what's throwing off my balance. But I'm kind of cheating right now anyway, so I don't care. Um, this is just for me to figure out if I even like spinning before I spend some money on a drop spindle or whatever. Anyway, I'm cheating because this is what I'm using. Let me pan over. You see that? It's a skein of something. I've never seen anything like it. It's a skein, obviously. It's acrylic, I'm almost 100% sure. But it pulls apart. There's no twist in it at all. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with it. But I'm basically turning it, sorry, into thread. See how tiny that is? I still, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but... I'm having a lot of fun so there you go I'll try to post the links to the videos that showed me how to start spinning how to kind of make this and all of that bye so bad video time again Here's my drop spindle, yada yada yada. You spin it all, it's full, and you're sitting there going, what the hell are you supposed to do with it? Well, according to all the people who own official stuff, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to wind it, or remove the spindle, because they all use spinning wheels, set it over in a box, and then you, and then you wait for another batch and you ply it together well I don't have obviously a spindle to just go like this and put it somewhere so rolling pins because I figured I needed something that would spin you know roll so I have two rolling pins this is a shoebox <laughs> well it's work boots so it's really heavy duty. I cut holes into it so that they'd sit there. And then what I did was I took the end of my yarn. As you can see, there's still some fiber left there. I taped it to here and then I just rolled it on there. It doesn't, doesn't matter how it is because you're going to be rolling it back off. So you just roll it on there until it's all full. Then you do up another one roll it onto that one because it's not officially yarn until it's until it's twisted together with another piece because when you get going you'll see that the first one that you did it's going to be a kinked up windy motherfucker oh well it's just for you i'm not doing this on youtube anyway so now you get to hear my real language um and it's pretty thin it's going to be bumpy. It's not going to be perfect. So by mixing it with two separate ones, it kind of evens everything out. I'll see if I, I'll, oh, I'll show you. Yeah, it's in the bedroom. But anyway, 
So what I did was I rolled it up onto here and I rolled it up onto here and everybody says online in every video, oh, make sure they don't twist up and make sure they don't do this. So I'm trying to figure that out and I came up with this. So I have TV trays. I showed you them. You know, my keyboard, it's on a TV tray. Anyway, um, I have a TV tray stand, so I don't know what the hell you can use. I'm sure there's something in your house that you can figure out, but this worked really good. So here's my stand. And then there was a hole in the top, so I got a screwdriver, shoved it in there, and little, what is this called, carbiner or whatever. And then what I did was I took each one of these, strung it through here, and it helped me to keep them separate. Because what you do is when you're doing this, when you're spinning here, you spin everything in one direction, whatever direction you feel most comfortable with. And I ended up doing what, clockwise? So when you take those two yarns and you spin them together, what you do is you hold them and then you spin them together the opposite direction. You ever see those things where, um, those little battery operated twisty things for hair? You know, you stick your hair in it, you push one way and it spins it, and then you push the other way and it spins it the other way together. That's exactly what you're doing with the yarn. And let me go in the bedroom and I'll show you my finished product. <laughs> it's like the Flintstones did it. Hold on. And this is my finished yarn. See the one that I did, the, the, um, the skeins of yarn that I told you about? Um, the first one came out really nice and thin and it was just beautiful. See the teeny tiny? That's, that was that one. Then I went to Hobby Lobby and got, um, and got, uh, the roving and you see all that lumpy shit? <laughs> That's it. It's hard to get it all nice and neat and, you know, one thickness and all that, but like, um, what's her name? Natalie at Namaste Farms. You know, she doesn't do it. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's all fuck, screwed up. Sorry. Um, but the whole point is now look at it. It's not twisty. Some of it is really twisty. But this is my first batch. And I think I did pretty damn good. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it. Everybody says to just set it aside and oh yeah see this one didn't twist up good so that was my first batch it was nice and neat and because it came that way and that's what i did it's not pretty but you don't want perfect you're making homemade you know but i'll show you that yarn I had two skeins of it. I did a very loose knit with this. You know, I showed you this. Oh, I'll show you. This is what it looks like off the skein. It's weird. This is not untwisted yarn. This is what that stuff looks like. And when you pull on it, see? So I tried crocheting with it. I tried knitting. I was, oh, it kept pulling apart. So I did a very loose knit for that background. Because that's the same. This is the same as that. And then I did this with the other skein. It was awesome. Anyway, I got to go. My battery's going to die. Bye.